let me give you a little little background. Um, uh, it's actually fairly recognizable. Uh, it centers around the teachings of, of a man named Siddhartha Gautama. I like that name. I'm gonna make it His name wasn't actually Buddha. And in fact, he actually wasn't fat. He was quite skinny. Uh, a lot of different perspectives about how he started, about his early life. But most people agree that he was born into royalty, wealth, and luxury somewhere in India. Uh, he experienced an unease about what he was being taught was important in life. He didn't think that money and possessions and everything, like all that stuff was important. He strikes out on his own. He leaves and wanted to find out what the key to human happiness is because he didn't believe it was money, possessions, and all that other stuff. So that's pretty noble, doesn't it? So he arrived at this middle path eventually, around 560 BC, that would lead to what he was searching for. They continued to teach it until he died around the age of 80. See, he was born in India, which was very Hindu, very Hindu at the time, very much influenced by Hindu ways and beliefs. And there are a lot of things in Hinduism we'll get into next week that he just didn't like. And so he, he goes out to find a different way. And in early days it was considered aggressive. It really expanded pretty quickly. Uh, there were so many that had discovered the ta this path that he was teaching that they tried to preach against Hinduism using Buddhism. Uh, today it's very laid back. They don't evangelize. You won't find many Buddhists on the corner saying, Turn or burn or Buddha will eat you. It's very tolerant of other faiths. You, know, you won't find them arguing in the streets. My God's bigger than your God. See, Buddha, Buddhism is very, it's a very moral, morally based teaching. It's very much about living a moral life, living an upright life. So a lot of their stuff's going to agree with a lot of other religions.